guys, welcome to Pantry Living. Tonight, we're having one of my favorite meals, which we honestly haven't had in probably two years. I had the best of intentions of cooking you guys a recipe out of this book. Stay tuned later in the week, because I'm sure we'll get to something out of there. But instead, I'd taken out a beautiful lamb roast, and we decided we would do raclette. And what is raclette? Raclette is an excellent, almost like fondue kind of social meal eating etiquette type thing. I'm not sure exactly. I believe it's Swiss. But anyways, I don't know the history of it. It's just an awesome thing to do. And if you get a chance, pick up a raclette. Just try it. Trust me. So one of the main best parts with raclette is lovely marinated meat sliced thin. As I was cutting it up this afternoon and making up my marinade, I realized I have a video that we did back on our Hickory Croft channel on this very marinade. And it is a favorite go-to for us that we've used for years. I mean, this video is from the first year that we did YouTube. So it's definitely been kicking around for three or four years anyways. So stay tuned, watch through that one and come back at the end. And we're going to show you how we have put together this meal and enjoyed our marinated lamb. Beautiful. That's the nice thing about growing your homegrown lamb. Yum. But anyways, we'll bring you back when we're ready to mix up our marinade. All right, so we have our meat all sliced up in our little bowl here for dinner. And our helper extraordinaire Me. is going to be making our marinade. marinade. That's right. So what have you got so far? Right now we have done four cloves. You're about to do the fourth clove of garlic, right? Yeah. Mom did the rest. The <laughs> I did the first ones, yeah. So let's see you squish her down. Oh, use those guns. We're mixing this first into a little mug so that we can kind of stir it all together and then we'll just pour it over the meat. Go that side too. I chose pink because it's my favorite color. Yeah, pink's your favorite. All right, so we have our four cloves of garlic in there. So next we're going to do the... Olive oil. Right, olive oil for and how much? A fourth of a cup. Yeah, one quarter cup of olive oil, carefully pouring. It doesn't matter if it's a little extra, but... Trying my hardest. There, that looks pretty good. You need one eighth of a cup of lemon juice. That looks pretty close there. That's uh, on it, so... Perfect. So that goes in. Work. And then we need one tablespoon of oregano and one tablespoon of mint which Alex has out here already. These are dried from our garden last year. Again, this is spearmint that we'd save from the garden. Probably it's use any tasty. mint. It is super tasty, that's right. And it grows everywhere here, doesn't it? Yeah, and then we have those little pineapple things and I made the one of these Oh, the little, little pineapple weeds, what do you call yeah. them? We'll have to get Chris to write that and in. And then, so it was, um, so you'd use one of the mint leaves and then you put like three of those little um, things in it. and then the Pineapple things and roll it. And then you roll it up into a ball. Mm -hmm. Eat it fresh out in the garden, didn't you? Now you need a heaping half teaspoon. It's supposed to be three quarters, but we couldn't find our three quarter teaspoon. So she's just going to do a big, or do one in a little bit if you want there, Alex. I'll write the recipe down below for everyone. And then a half teaspoon of the black pepper. There we go. Perfect. And get that all mixed together. Does it look like it's going to be enough liquid? We can always add a bit of extra olive oil if we need more. No, lemon juice is, would probably taste better. You want a little more lemon juice? We're just going to yeah. put a little bit more. Just to be on the safe side. It's pretty flexible. Sometimes I don't even measure, I just pour. Oh, that's thick with yummy goodness. All right, let's see if you can mix that kind of in. Just use your fork and stir it around there. Let's see if we can get it all in, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge to marinate. All right, so there's our marinade on. We're gonna let that sit in the fridge there for a couple hours before we have dinner, and we'll bring you back when we're ready to cook this on the raclette. So raclette, as you can see by the layout of this table, is not exactly a pantry meal. We did take that meat out of the freezer, but for the most part with raclette, you want to be using fresh vegetables. But the one thing we did manage to do is we hit up the discount or reduced pile of produce. What is that called? Oh my gosh, why do I always have so much trouble? Um, Just a reduced rack. The reduced rack. There you go. See, that's why he's the brainsy outfit. Um, we hit up the reduced rack today because as we were leaving town, I had this plan to cook out of that book and I thought, you know, I really want to have raclette. 
And so we went and we got ourselves a block of Swiss cheese and then we hit up that discount rack and got peppers, sweet potatoes, and then we did get uh, asparagus and beans because they were on for a really, really good price. But otherwise we had everything else pretty much here. So there really isn't a whole lot of instruction to using raclette. We're just going to kind of enjoy our meal and share it with you guys. And hopefully if you uh, enjoy this sort of thing as well, you'll leave a comment below and let me know because I'm always curious as to whether other people do this kind of thing. <laughs> but raclette is about hours of eating and wonderful socializing. And I even splurged. I'm allowing myself some bread because I'll, I'll splice it in over top of this here, but when you take this bread and you put a little bit of olive oil with garlic and stuff on top and you sizzle it up in there and melt the cheese underneath, it is, wow, it is amazing. So that is the big kicker. Raclette is all about meat, cheese, bread, veggies, and deliciousness. So technically we are going to have something out of the pantry. We are going to be using our homemade cranberry juice, which was amazing by the way with some soda stream and vodka to make an adult beverage. That's what we call them around here with the kids is adult beverages. This doesn't happen very often guys. So we're going to have an enjoyable dinner. And as we round off our meal, which was incredible, I have to say, we've got our pineapple grilling on top of this for dessert. And it's amazing. It soaks up all that salt and meat juices and everything. And it is incredible. So hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one.